Soldering is easy to do, but you need to know the proper technique. Prepare the clean joint by applying flux to the tube and the fitting. Water-soluble flux that meets the ASTM BA13 standard is recommended. This wax-like compound dissolves when heating is applied and removes oxidation from the joint surfaces. It also protects the clean surface from reoxidation during heating and it promotes wetting of the surfaces by the solder alloy. Stir the flux to activate it, then use a brush to apply a thin coating to both the tube and the fitting immediately after cleaning them. Insert the tube into the fitting cup, making sure the tube is seated against the base of the cup. A slight twisting motion ensures even coverage by the flux. Wipe excess flux from the exterior of the joint. Be sure to support the tube. The joint is now ready for soldering. Using an acetylene or propane gas torch, begin at the bottom of the tube. The copper will conduct the heat into the joint. Next, sweep the flame between the fitting cup and the tube. When the assembly is hot enough, point the flame at the base of the fitting cup and touch the solder to the joint. If the solder does not immediately melt when it touches the metal, remove it and continue heating. Be careful not to overheat, which can burn the flux. This will prevent the solder from entering the joint properly. Shift the heat to the base of the cup when the solder begins to melt. Capillary action will draw the solder into the cup. As the solder melts, push it into the joint while keeping the torch at the base of the fitting and slightly ahead of the solder. Apply solder across the bottom of the fitting and up one side to the top. Return to your starting point, overlapping slightly and up the uncompleted side to the top. Be sure to apply enough solder to the top of the joint. Allow the completed joint to cool naturally. Shock cooling with water can weaken the joint. When it cools, clean off any remaining flux residue with a wet rag. Flush completed system to remove excess flux and debris. Finally, test all completed assemblies for joint integrities.